Today I am with the lesson CFCs or freons. From this lesson, the points to be learned are definition of CFCs or freons, examples of CFCs, formulae of CFCs, properties of CFCs, and finally uses of CFCs. So let's get started. The very first point is definition of CFCs or freons. CFCs, the full form of this is chlorofluorocarbons, single word. Commercially, chlorofluorocarbons are called freons. Let's go to the exact definition of CFCs. This is methane. When two hydrogen atoms are replaced by chlorine and another two are replaced by fluorine, then we get chlorine, chlorine, here fluorine, this is also fluorine. So this is derivative of methane. Another one, let's say, if three hydrogen atoms are replaced by chlorine and one hydrogen atom is replaced by fluorine, then we get chlorine, chlorine, chlorine and here fluorine. So these two compounds are chlorofluorocarbon, chlorofluorocarbon. These compounds are called CFCs, that means chlorofluorocarbons. Another compound, let's see, this is ethane. Two hydrogen atoms are replaced by fluorine and this one is replaced by chlorine. Similarly, these two are replaced by chlorine and this is replaced by fluorine. Then we get fluorine, fluorine, chlorine, here fluorine, fluorine, chlorine. This is also chlorofluorocarbon and it is obtained from the ethane. Now let's see the definition of CFCs. That means the chlorofluoro derivatives of methane and ethane are called CFCs. Commercially, CFCs are called freons. Let's see some examples of freons. Now the point is examples of CFCs or freons. Let's see some examples of CFCs. Here CFC 11 or freon 11, CFC 12 or freon 12, CFC 113 or freon 113, CFC 114 or freon 114. So these are the examples of freons. Now we will see the formulae of these freons. Let's see formulae of CFCs or freons. First of all, CFC 11 or freon 11. Here there are two tips, addition of 90 and then addition of chlorine atoms. Here 90 is added to this number that is 11 then we get 101 here there are three digits this first digit indicates number of carbon atoms that means one carbon atom this second digit indicates number of hydrogen atoms that means number of hydrogen atoms is zero that means in the compound there is no hydrogen atom 
this third digit indicates number of fluorine atoms that means one fluorine atom is there now let's try to write the formula of CFC11 that means carbon atom 1 fluorine atom 1 and there are three hands no hydrogen atom second tip is addition of chlorine the vacant valencies are fulfilled with chlorine atoms this is chlorine this is chlorine this is chlorine so this is the formula of CFC 11 or freon 11 that is C Cl3 F trichlorofluoromethane this is CFC 11 or freon 11 let's see another compound Let's try to determine the molecular formula of another CFC that is CFC 12 or Freon 12. So first of all 90 is added to 12, 90 plus 12 we will get 102. It indicates number of carbon 1, number of hydrogen 0 that means in this compound no hydrogen atoms present here number of fluorine atoms that means two fluorine atoms present here now let's see one carbon atom and there are four hands two fluorine atoms here and other hands will be fulfilled with chlorine atoms so this is chlorine this is chlorine now the formula of CFC is C Cl2 F2 dichlorodifluoromethane. This is the formula of CFC12 or freon12. Let's see another compound. Now let's try to determine the molecular formula of CFC113. CFC113. First of all, tip number one that is addition of 90. 90 is added to 113 then we will get 203 it indicates carbon two carbon atoms no hydrogen atoms present and number of fluorine atoms three two carbon atoms let's write two these two carbon atoms here and another three hands Three fluorine atoms here two fluorine here another fluorine or we can write in this carbon two fluorine atoms and in this carbon one fluorine atom this is not a problem and the vacant valencies are fulfilled with chlorine here chlorine here chlorine here chlorine now the formula of this CFC is F2Cl C, then CFCl2 name of this compound is this is carbon number 1 this is carbon number 2 1 2 2 trichloro 1 1 2 trifluoro ethane this is the formula of CFC 113 let's see another compound now let's try to determine the molecular formula of CFC 114. CFC 114. 90 is added to 114. Then we get 104. 204. This is actually 204. This is carbon 2. No hydrogen atoms. There are Four fluorine atoms, two carbon atoms, and three hands here. Four fluorine atoms here, fluorine, here, fluorine, another fluorine, another fluorine. The vacant valencies are fulfilled with chlorine according to tip number two chlorine, chlorine. So, this is the molecular formula of CFC 114. 
and its name is 1,1-dichloro 2,2-tetrafluoroethane that is F2Cl C C F2Cl 1,1-dichloro 1,1-2,2-tetrafluoroethane 1, 1, di, chloro, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, tetrafluoroethane. Single word, 1, 1, di, chloro, 1, 1, 2, 2, tetrafluoroethane. Let's see the next point. Now, the point is properties of freons or CFCs. First of all, freons are incombustible gases. That means inflammable gases. Number two, freons are non-toxic. That means freons CFCs are not poisonous. Number three, CFC, these gases can be converted to CFC liquid applying pressure and at that time it receives heat and CFC can be converted to CFC gas from liquid to gas and at that time CFC releases heat to the environment. This is the unique property of CFCs. And number four, CFCs are of low boiling points. For example, CFC 11, 24 degree centigrade, CFC 12, 30 degree centigrade. These are the general properties of CFCs. Let's see the next point. Now the point is uses of CFCs. CFCs are used in fridges, air conditioners. We have learnt from the previous point that is the unique property of CFC that means CFC gas converted to CFC liquid absorbing heat and this CFC liquid is converted to CFC gas releasing heat. So this is the property by which CFC functions in fridge and air conditioners that means suppose this is a kind of schematic diagram of freeze schematic diagram of freeze here CFC liquid is passed through freezes then it receives heat from the freeze and convert it to gas then it is passed through compressor, uh, compressor pump or condenser then converted to CFC liquid and at that time heat is released to the environment and this time heat is absorbed from the fridge. So this is the way by which CFC works in cooling fridge and in the air conditioners. Next one is CFC is used as aerosol. What is aerosol? Aerosol is a kind of mixture of air and sol, solid fine particles. Solid fine particles. Here air is CFC is used and another ingredient solid fine particles are used. This CFC gas is highly volatile substance we already learnt and because of this volatility it is used to make aerosol in sprays. It works to spray the main component solid fine particles. This CFC is used to make sprays. Again, C 
CFC is used as solvent as well. But these CFCs are harmful for the ozone layer. Next lecture we will learn harmful effect of CFCs towards ozone layer. No more today. Thank you very much. Take care.